Hi guys, it's Draws Mikhail here, welcoming you back to another episode of Kirby's Return to Dreamland after a long absence. I'm sorry, hooray, I finally remembered. In today's episode, we'll be tackling stage one of Onion Ocean. I wonder how it smells. And the gimmick of this place is it's Beach World Beach! Full of squids and octopi, which are the same thing. Don't let any science person tell you differently, because I am the truth. And there's also, uh, what is this one? Is this, uh, I'm trying to remember now. It's Ice Cream Islands from the original, uh, Dreamland, Kirby's Dreamland. It's just basically the same theme. Except there's no Kabula, sadly. I, I like Kabula, it's a, it's a good boss. Oh, I'm sorry if I haven't been doing things recently, it's because I, I hate you. It's, it's true. So you should just stop being... No, I'm sorry. If you quit now, you will never be able to forgive yourself. And I, I will be supreme. So, I... I'm part... I just have been having so many mic problems and I forget to record every day, so... Let's hope I can get back on a regular schedule again, because I have absolutely 100% nothing to do, and the reason for my absence is because my brother was back in town over Christmas break, so I decided uh, not to have any videos where I recorded my voice or anything. So, yeah. Anyways, back to the level. So, based, the theme of this level, I guess, is uh, beach. You know... All of it is beach, but mostly it's ocean. Uh, this one is beach, because it's like beachfront, and you go under the water, and yeah, it's pretty neat. I like this world, mainly because it's a lot more interesting than fucking Desert Dash, or whatever it is, I don't care. <sighs> uh, it also introduces Parasol, which I, I kind of like, but I, I think it's better than it is, because it's not... And I'll always choose Tornado, any day of the month. I, I like to specify that it's a month, so I just don't have to. <sighs> Say multiple months or weeks. Ah! I'm confused already! It's a new record. No, it's not. I'm pretty sure I, I've gotten confused earlier than this. I've, I was confused at like the start of most of the Star Wars Battlefront videos. I have no clue how any of those actually got views. But I like I like them because they're it's that's one of my favorite games, Star Wars Battlefront. It's uh one of my few childhood games. Speaking of which I wanna that's what I want to talk about today. What games did you have as a kid that you're like, oh, that game truly defined my childhood childhood, I don't care. <sighs> For me, ooh, what game did I play a lot of? I played a lot of Mario Kart Double Dash uh, Spider-Man, I don't remember which one because I was a kid. Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, what was another one? It's it's kind of hard because I really wasn't that much of a video game person when I was a kid. I was more like, oh, computers. And... Uh, I'm trying to remember now. And TV. That's when uh, they still had WB on regular channels. N now I also get cable now, so I can just watch a ton of good programming like Gravity Falls. Ooh, such a good show. Sorry, it's, it's it's too good. Should not be Disney. Disney, get on that, okay? Just get, make it not Disney, okay? Good. Good job. They already done it, because it's not Disney! God damn it! And as we can see, you're facing, or you're doing something else. We're going to be snowman snow. Full of lots of snow and ice balls. Which does not make sense. Why do you get the snow power in the ice world? I mean, uh, beach world. No, not sure. What? Wait. Uh, oh, yeah. First, my first game ever, though, was when uh, my neighbors, as a kid, my neighbors in, like, a trailer park, they were moving away. So they gave our family like an NES with a ton of old games. And I, pr I pretty much still have all the games except for one, which I gave to my uh, my friend a pretty a, a good while ago. I gave it to it for for his birthday. It was uh, was it Spy Hunter? Yeah, it was Spy Hunter. I had to think of it for a second. 
Uh, that was a pretty good game, but my favorite... Uh, the first game I ever played was the original Zelda for the NES. That was, like, my childhood game. Either that, or... There's, like, four game, Five games that would qualify for the first one I played. Uh, that would be Captain Skyhawk, which is a rare game. I'm, I think I actually played that first. Either that, or Silent Service, uh, which is a submarine game. Star... Voyager, yeah, I remembered it finally. It, it's in my room. All, all this, all my I, NES stuff is in my room still, and I just, I don't record there anymore, sadly. Uh, and what other, what other game was it? No, it was Legend of Zelda or Ghosts and Goblins. I might have played that first, and I'm, I'm glad I didn't get it to work because I remember that I couldn't get it to work. Because, fuck that game. Just, no. I also lost it for a while, but I found it now. Good news, guys. I found Ghosts and Goblins. I'm not sure if... Ah, oh, I'm wondering if I should move my... Uh, recording shit to my room again. Since I did get my new computer, as you guys probably remember. And... Uh... I'm almost to my 10,000th view. Uh, that's a pretty good milestone for me, because I make absolutely terrible things. Eh, I suppose my music ones aren't that bad. I mean, Snow Day Singe was terrible, and that was still, like, my top video for, like... What was it, like, five months? Hold on, I made that in December. Next one, I released that in March. So, three months, it was my top video. Might have been actually five because uh, Kirby's turned the Kirby anniversary collection video didn't come out until March, and I'm pretty sure that didn't beat Snow Day Singe until like tons of time later. Well, now that's almost to seven thousand views. I'm like, thanks, thanks, guys. I'm 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 glad. Allows me to have an excuse to do something. Because my entire life is dedicated to being able to do absolutely nothing whenever I want. And that, that's a pretty good life goal. You don't want to have goals of like, oh, I want to save the world. No, I want to do absolutely nothing. And I'm going to make sure I do that forever. Uh, don't use that moral, kids, because it's terrible. And uh, pro tip from Draws, don't, don't use it. Also... Fucking the reason this game is hard is because people don't block because it's so inconvenient to block because if this is a four player game you're supposed to play it with friends and have a gr grand old time god damn it I just realized oh, I forgot about the multiplayer video I'm sorry ah oh. well actually the most I have recorded right now is up to world four I said that a lot now but I just don't remember what I was talking about in my other video because I was like, I'm going to do it Monday. And then my brother came out and was like, shit, I can't record anything. I, there are reasons, okay? What? I'm trying to remember now because the first GameCube game we got, we got from a rummage sale in like 2005 or six. You know, like when I didn't. When it wasn't, like, new. So, the first game we played, it was at night. I do remember this. It was like a motorcycle racing game. I wish I knew what it was called so I could just, like... Oh, my God, yeah. It's, tr like, it's like trying to remember the last episode of a TV show you watched. Like, uh, the last episode of Adventure Time I watched was... Uh, I don't even remember the name now. I remember it was the one with the Lich... And her, him turning bubblegum into a, uh, a monster, I think? I'm not sure. Then I remember at the end of the episode, she was 13. And I was like, wow, it's a great finale. It was like part of a two-part finale. Finale, too. Finale. Ugh. Sound like Italian. Just like Italian, not anything else. Okay, guys? And maybe that's it. Maybe that's all that needed to be it. I mean, you can do more, and they have done more. I think they're like in four seasons. I don't know. Freaking, they're, it's still airing. That's all I know. So, good job for you if you've kept running all these years. 
And I still remember the first time I watched, like, the... I watched the freaking pilot for that. I do remember that. Because I was there, guys. I was there. It was like a sneak peek or something. But, ugh. I don't even remember if that's even a good show. It probably is. But I just can't be bothered to even look it up anymore. Because I'm like, oh, fucking... I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just not busy at all. So I'm just like, what's on TV? And the exact same shit. And I'm like, oh, why can't there be new stuff? Because new stuff's already aired. See, my theory on TV is everything was recorded in the 90s, and now it's just reruns. It's, it's the future. You may say, oh, there are shows in the 2000s. No, it's not part of my theory. Therefore, it is factually wrong. See, that's the kind of logic that gets you into college, kids. <laughs> it's not. I'm trying to teach good morals here because I feel like I'm kind of a kid show, but no, fuck that. I'm not a kid show. <laughs> Again, I'm writing this R because, I mean, I, I, I came up with a theory that everything should either be PG, I mean G, PG, or R. Because the PG-13 is fucking useless. Because if you, if you just have, like, scary shit in it, why can't you just go to the next extreme and make it fucking this R? I mean, why can't you just increase PG? You don't, you just like, G, PG, PG-13. No! That doesn't work. Why? Why would you do that? Anyways, if you see my logic, uh, go. It's 1-800-555-YOU'LL-FUCK-YOURSELF.COM Draws McHale, everybody. Goodbye, everyone. This is the end of the video, by the way. Sorry, oops. I, I left that out of the video, oops. You probably should have known. <laughs>